Hi guys, Frost Fang. So and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today we're back on the PTS again, just because obviously I've covered practically everything in live and now I'm trying to cover everything in the new upcoming patch. We've done Makoa recently, that was a little bit underwhelming. We tried to do Pip, didn't really work out, so that one never ended up getting posted on the channel. We've done Grok, there's only a couple left, and today we're doing Taro. She actually got two big changes. She got the one with Hunting Party and the one with Mercy Kill, which I actually underestimated because I went against it on the PTS uh, not too long ago, and it was quite painful. So as you know, they kind of changed Street Justice a little bit because they didn't really like the way that it was working, but Mercy Kill is similar in, in a way, but obviously it's not the exact same. So instead of dealing the 700, this is the important part here, it's instead of dealing 700 flat like it usually does, it now deals 35% of the target's max health. So you never really end up losing damage because it's not of like their remaining health or anything like that, it's of the actual like max amount they have. As far as I know, I haven't even tried this yet, so 35% of that is like like above 700 and in every single situation although doing quick maths in my head thinking about it Meef has 1900 and 35% of 1900 is actually less than 700 so on the super squishy characters this is actually less but not by much it, it isn't all that far off it's pretty damn close but in situations where you're going up against tanks I feel like this is probably the legendary card to pick alongside burn monster and hunting party Tyra has now kind of become the anti-tank character in this patch in 1.4 because this all wreck tanks this obviously has been wrecking tanks for a while because it deals damage based on max health so this kind of makes sense now that she's got two cards that do it and hunting party also just in general buffs damage but i feel like mercy kill is going to be specifically strong against tanks because say if you're going up against somebody who's got 4,000 health your mercy kill is now going to deal how much is that freaking 1400 am i doing maths right 400 times three and then plus 200 yeah it deals 1400 that's ridiculous that's one hell of a bursty ability especially seeing the loadout we've got reduces the cooldown down to like seven seconds or so or even less i think it goes down to six and a half and then we also get it reduced for eliminations so this is the anti-tank way for playing tyra just from now from taking a look at it quickly let alone if you're trying to deal with a makoa who's got even more health and then obviously if he ults you're going to deal like three thousand and something three three and a half thousand without damage reduction that's insane so if we hit a makoa who's ulting he has ten thousand max health so we should deal literally three and a half thousand damage if he has haven then that'll mess that up a little bit we're not doing dragon's call i'm staying away from dragon's call for a little bit although what you guys told me in the comments of the last video is grok has actually been fixed it's absolutely hilarious that that's like one of the only things that was changed after my video went out with that bug they actually fixed it so that's great shout outs to high res for fixing that i'm not sure if i played a part in that at all because obviously high res never talks to me directly other than the occasional code that gets sent my way which i actually haven't received for like the past patch or two which is a little bit of a disappointing thing because there's quite a few people that seem to think that i like know all the people that work at high res or they pay me to make paladins videos and obviously that that doesn't happen because i make videos on other stuff whenever i i have something that i want to make a video on such as like my stuff series that i need to do an update video on soon managed to get tyra we're doing siege serpent beach i'm not sure what skin to use she has like three exclusive ones and the the lotus one which i think actually isn't the lotus one wait isn't this called baroness or is it lotus baroness i, I don't know in the lobby i think this one's called baroness which is a little bit weird i don't like archangel as much as i like i i guess drake fire die wolf's probably one of my favorites i don't like the weapon with this though i i would prefer the lotus weapon maybe we should do like a mix up here i'm gonna use that one and then we're gonna go ahead and use which is the weapon we're gonna use the lotus stinger there we go nice combo going on team wise we've got an andro damba victor makoa on their side they have a makoa which is perfect for what we're doing a ying a lex a victor and an ash two people that we should do pretty well against siege serpent beach is anyone calling me out in the lobby freaking like three people or two people aka deathstroke seven and marky zero zero shout outs to the two of them i don't usually reply in the lobby if i'm recording a video if i'm not recording i always reply but i much prefer prefer to give people a surprise so when they see this video they're like oh shit i'm in that interested to see if we get a chance to deal like the full three and a half k on this mako he's probably gonna go for haven or blast shields blast shields will be what what like denies the nade do we have any other explosions i guess victor they're probably gonna get haven though instead of blast shields it would make more sense i think so let's just go ahead and get mercy kill and the loadout so bandolier max level primal might max level in the fray really wish the damage reduction was higher on this but it's still 12 percent incense just two little filler cards here to give us movement speed and health these two are the most important to get the cooldowns nice and low this is probably my favorite weapon for tyra because it blocks like no like section of the screen whatsoever it's really small let's get cauterize or chronos i don't feel like chronos makes sense i know i'm spamming the nade but i really want nimble to position myself better Oh, I don't know. I don't know, because we also need to get rid of shields. You know what? I'm going to get Wrecker. They have an Ash and a Makoa. Maybe 
maybe I should get wrecked. I'll let everyone else get caught. I'm excited. Never tried this one before in a game. This is my first time giving this one a go. I have no idea how well I'm going to do. Probably going to be kind of rough, but this is this is more of a practice match, and then the second one we'll, we'll try a little bit harder once I've had a little bit of a, a warm-up. I much prefer doing my, my first game on the channel than, like, my third one, because then it's all, like, my first experience with stuff. Let's mark you. I'm going to die any second to this this Ash. Nade, there we go. 1,900 and something. That's a thing I didn't even think about, actually. Does the damage, like, does the percentage drop off, at, at, like, the further away they are from the nade? That's a, a very interesting thing that I didn't think about. I thought it would deal the flat 35% even if we hit them just about, but I guess not. Let's mark you. There's the nade. Freaking 2,000. Holy shit, that's ridiculous. Never thought I'd see the day where a Tyra can deal 2,000 damage to a character just by hitting right-click and, like, getting it generally close to them. That's kind of crazy, but I also kind of love it. Hello, Victor. Let's get the Ash. How much do we deal? I, I missed that one. Nice. Let's nade her. Holy shit, the grenade's green on this skin? I didn't know that. That's really cool. I like that a lot. He's gone or not because I missed because I'm trash. Let's get you. Can we get this Victor out? Thank you very much. Nade the, nade the Makoa. I missed it. God damn it. Hello, Lex. You're dead. I don't know why you thought it was a good idea to engage there. Nade. Holy shit shit 2000 triple kill why am i ulting why am i doing this to myself this was a bad decision or well, maybe it wasn't I, I guess i got an unofficial quadra spray within five seconds of getting a kill sweet i've done that nine times on the pts N nice that's an unofficial quadra mako is shouting out penta but sadly i wasn't that lucky hello ash please don't kill me why am i not trying to dodge her more there we go damba's on point with the heals lex doesn't have enough damage with his right click because it drops off really fast cheeky nade up there that did not work please don't let me die to my own nade that would be embarrassing as hell that 50 percent reset is really nice there's another 2000 holy crap like on tanks this is like next level ridiculous damage 2000 damage on an ability that has like five seconds cooldown we take nearly half of his health off like obviously if he's lost a bit then that is probably half his health if he's on 4k that's half of what he's got but oh my god it's so easy to land there's another 2000 and she's just nearly get nearly dead let's finish her off there's the reset cheeky nade for you so it doesn't matter whatsoever what actual amount of health they're on it only matters their max health which is a much better way i think of having the nade work because that way you can shoot it whenever and still get a pretty huge benefit i'm trying my best to survive here there ying just altered damage on point with the heals thank you my good sir i appreciate it. that's mark you nade there we go 2000 even when she's like super low health is crazy he's trying to do something i don't know what's going on here i got rid of her shield amako is going in with an alt nade no that didn't work i missed i missed i'm gonna die fuck let's get more wrecker and chronos don't actually feel that slow surprisingly with tyra i usually do but i think it's because the team are going against lex is easy to deal with he isn't that good they're victor ying makoa and ash don't have that much movement so like i don't feel like that slow with nimble so i'm gonna go ahead and rock some chronos hello there we go missed that one i do have to admit though this one did slip under the radar a little bit for me i was way more focused in the original video where i went over the patch notes and stuff on the one that let you have two marks because i, I don't usually care that much for the nade i'm usually quite inaccurate and I, I don't do that well with it but holy shit this completely changes that for me I, i'm probably going to be using this normally as tyra unless i go against a ton of flankers in which case i'll pick the one with the mark instead freaking well played my guy god damn makoa coming through clutch with a nice freaking spicy play let's get rid of you triple kill can we get another quadra can we get a quadra up in here i don't know i'm doing bad damage right now is that gonna count no it's too late god damn it. my phone is going off also we got like 100 with that so it still has drop off if you're not that accurate with it so that that's important to those of you guys that needed to know apparently let's get you there we go freaking 770 even on the lex i love this legendary card so i already have my my opinions fully formed on this legendary card not just because we have a good team who's playing really really well and they're not doing that great but mainly just because against tanks I don't think it gets much better than this. When we hit a squishy character, it only deals 700. When we hit a tank, it deals less than the base damage in some scenarios. So it definitely isn't overpowered because in a lot of fights, you're not even going to notice that you have a legendary card. But on the other hand, if you're going against a team with two tanks or three tanks, this is kind of crazy. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a fringe legendary card, like one that isn't picked every single game because it wouldn't make sense. But if you're going against a team with two tanks, this would make sense in a lot of those situations. If you're going against two beefy tanks, maybe not against Torvald, because I don't know how it will react with his shield but in most scenarios with two tanks especially with three with three there's there's no doubt in my mind you're, you're picking this 100 percent of the time but against two tanks just being able to deal 2k that that easily and not really have any penalty whatsoever and having such a small cooldown is just it's just crazy even if we miss it still does a thousand if i'm not that accurate with it that's the entire enemy team right there where is my guys oh two of them are dead okay hello ash mark 
Thank you. Miss the nade. Okay, I I'm gone. This is probably my, my favorite type of legendary card. I like this one because it's not one you'll pick all the time. This isn't the one you'll see in every single game of Paladins, which is great. It's one that you'll see in specific scenarios where it makes sense to pick and where the people picking it know exactly why they're picking it. It's not just, oh, this is the one you pick when you play this character. It's this is the one you play when you want to get rid of tanks. But if you've got a loadout that isn't based around this, it wouldn't really make sense either. So you have to have a specific loadout to match it because if you're buffing your Hunter's Mark, this is going to have like a 10 second cooldown and you're barely ever going to be actually throwing it. So to me, this is just another viable way to play Tyra that is a hell of a lot of fun, especially because you, you can actually hit multiple people. I just dealt like 5,000 damage with one nade. How crazy is that? Let's get rid of your shield. There's another 2k. Oh my god, they did such a good job with this. I'm so happy that this is a thing. Get fucked, Ash. You are not going to ult today. And the reason I said that I think they did such a good job with this one is because before, you, you could pick it and it would most of the time benefit you, but I didn't see people pick it all that often. It didn't really have as much of a defined purpose as this one did, and I feel like that's what they've been trying to do in general with this patch is give more things an actual purpose and a reason as to why you're going to go ahead and pick them. This one now makes sense when you're going against tanks. In any other situation, you won't pick this. Just get it when you're going against tanks because it's a hell of a nice buff being able to deal like an extra 1300. You're dealing three times the damage than your normal nade when you're hitting a tank with this. You're going from 700 to nearly 2000. So that's nearly three times. There's a nade. You don't even have to be that bloody accurate. I can just lob this in her general direction and hopefully land it. There's that. Are we going to rush in? Is this the plan here? Are we rushing in? Hello, we do no damage with it to, to Ying. Hello, I am going to die any second. I'm holding fire, though. We hold in fire. I don't think I even have to hold. Does it fire anyway? Double kill. Can I get a triple kill? Thank you for the triple kill. Can we chuck that down there and get a quadra, maybe? Can I get a quadra? Is that a quadra? Can we get a penta? Where's their lex gone? Where's the lex? I can't get a penta. Have I just got, like, two unofficial quadras and an actual quadra, but no penta kill? I feel like this is showing how good this legendary card is, because I don't usually get this many kills. I feel like the loadout is making a huge difference. Bandolier is definitely increasing our damage output a crap ton and so is Primal Might. I'm spamming my stuff so often. How much cooldown do we have? Six seconds. That's down from nine. So we've got a 30% cooldown reduction on it just from this and what? Tier 2 Kronos? Yeah, it feels more like five seconds actually. And then obviously if we get an elimination or anything at all, the cooldowns are even lower. I only mentioned this kind of offhand in the first video because I didn't think it would make as much of a difference because I didn't really put too much thought into it. Obviously on characters like Ying, like, a, like you just saw, it doesn't deal that much damage. But against tanks, this is, this is just crazy. This is ridiculous. So I, I definitely wish I put more thought into it. Can we get a hit on this Makoa? Sure. 3,745 damage. Are you actually taking the piss? Did I just deal that much with an ability? Not even sarcastically. I just dealt nearly 4,000 damage with one ability. What the actual fuck? Look at this. It, oh, it's not even going to shut because that's too late. Damn it. That's like a whole health bar of a squishy character and a half. That's how much damage that is. That's absolutely immense, and I absolutely love it. I want this game to go on longer because I want to get another ability like that on a Makoa. I don't want this game to end, but I kind of feel like I should just put it out, put them out of their misery. Let's just let's just put them to bed. Let's just let's just finish this game so that they don't have to suffer any more pain or not because I didn't realize it was there over time. I thought we were the people in overtime. Okay, I made a bit of a mistake there. That's fine. Whatever. I'm 28 to six. Does it matter at this point? No. This is the first time in a while I've been caught completely off guard with the legendary card. I honestly was not expecting this to be good at all. Are they on the point? No, let's cover it. Okay, I probably should have dived on it there. I'm not bothered. I want the game to go on longer. This is too much fun. Hello, Victor. You are dead. Any second? Hello. Nade. There we go. I would have totally died there if I didn't have legendary card. Another nade. Thank you for the double kill. Appreciate it. If we kill someone with the nade, the cooldown goes down to like a second and a half. Triple kill. Wasn't even trying to get a triple kill there. How many triples is that? Three triples and a quadra. I think I'll take it. I think that's an accurate representation of this legendary card at this point. I feel like this is this is good. Probably one of the better videos I made on the PTS so far. Completely missed that one though. Why am I being this aggressive? I don't know. I need an explanation myself, to be honest. What am I doing? What is going on? Also gotta give like mad props to my team because I definitely wouldn't be doing this well if we had a worse team. My team is playing a massive part in this, and I feel like if you're playing with this with a pre-made team, it's gonna be even more ridiculous. If a, like a Viserys ults and you go ahead and nade into that, you're gonna deal like 5,000 plus easy if there's three people pulled. That's just insane. Let's go ahead and deal with these people. I didn't realize you were on that low health. Hello, Ash. Can we get rid of you? Cheeky Nate. Thank you very much. Who's he pulling? There's a Victor. You're gone. Thank you. Another triple kill. Is that the fourth one now? Where is anyone else? I, I literally just run out of people to kill. That's what this whole video has been. Me just shredding face to the point where I, I literally just don't have anyone else I can chase down. That's the fourth triple kill, I'm pretty sure. And the we've also got a quadra. I feel like that's a valid pentakill. This is ridiculous. It makes the nade actually feel 
feel satisfying. Like, there's a lot of times where I've been playing Tyra before where I shoot the nade and I just like, oh, okay, cool, I did 700 damage, that's completely useless. Why Why is she ulting me? Why Why you do this to me, Ash? I didn't want this to happen. I'm juking her so well right now. Where's she gone? Hello, Ying. Oh my god, I can't deal with two people. I probably could have beaten that Ash if she actually wasn't backed up by the Ying there. I probably stood a chance there of living on, like, 200 health or whatever I was on. When this comes into live, you, you have to give this a go. I don't even feel like it needs to be nerfed. That's the thing, is it doesn't feel like it's too strong because I feel like it now gives Tyra a bit of a place in the meta as kind of the anti-tank pick because usually Tyra has anti-tank because of her um, her other stuff but this just gives her a whole other avenue of absolutely shredding face really easily it's not even hard to play but against squishy characters this isn't doing anything so I feel like it's perfectly fine where it is I, I don't think I could call this overpowered because it doesn't really make sense in a lot of situations it wouldn't even make sense if you were going against one tank this this wouldn't be ideal but going against two especially three th this is just an easy easy hey I want to deal crazy damage pick so I can I can definitely recommend this when it goes into life if it doesn't get changed thing is if they made it any lower than 35% against squishy characters you'd be losing a lot of the damage so I feel like then it definitely wouldn't make sense and then it'd be way too specific with this way you're not losing too much damage against the ultra squishies but you are still you know dealing that crazy damage to tanks so I feel like this is in a fine spot I didn't mean to hit E there I meant to hit F but I somehow managed to hit E I didn't even realize my ult was up okay are we holding this no it's 3-3 three, three. holy shit so it's now whoever caps the point then Makoa is going to have an ult but if we're alive we'll be able to deny that pretty well with a 3k spicy amount of damage to him freaking aka deathstroke just said we have frost fangs we can win that is definitely not logic that i stand behind i feel like we have frost fangs we can lose is definitely up on the other hand let's get rid of you there's a good amount of damage holy shit we took half his health off very quickly let's mark the lex so we know where he's at get another nade on you only dealt in freaking 300 with that one i was way off there's a nade okay try my best to deal some consistent damage i'm waiting for them a code to pull an ult out though let's get another freaking right click on you kind of wish i got cauterized but at the same time we've been doing a pretty good job of getting rid of shields where is everyone right now i'm just kind of waiting there's a ying 770 thank you very much let's get rid of the ash shield sure we deal like 400 a shot it's crazy nay there we go all right chuck a fire down oh that's a lex right there in my face okay didn't realize he was even there nade i feel like the reason we're not able to get that point is because we don't have cauterized and that's probably my fault because i went wrecker because i thought it was a better decision i may have made a mistake let's go ahead and see if we can hold this point there's a mark for you there's some damage it's on 90 percent. i need to push up right now let's go let's go can we get rid of her no what's going on what even happened there i don't even understand what just happened i'm very confused i pushed it into overtime mako is the only dude alive he's gonna have to roll in and then all 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 oh no there mako pushed up and hooked him off the point well played to there mako don't really feel like we deserve to lose that one. I feel like we, we probably should have won it. I got top play though, so that's fine. We lost, but we got top play. That, that's, a, that, that's, a, that's a zero point. We lost one, but we gained one, so that's fine. What play even is this? So we chuck a fire nade in. We finish off the Makoa. We go ahead and get a nice thousand or so with the nade. Chuck another firebomb down because of the loadout. Finish her off. And then again, I just, I run out of people to kill. That's what that whole game was. I got four triples and a quadra, I'm pretty sure. Literally just running out of people to murder. Hopefully this video doesn't get demonetized because of the sheer amount of times I've said dead and murder. Massive shout outs to the to the whole team. We did absolutely ridiculous that game. We had 227,000 damage. If that doesn't show you how strong this card can be, I honestly don't know what will. Their Ying, 200k heals, that's ridiculous. I feel like I should have got cauterized, but at the same time, my record was doing pretty good, so I, I don't know. I feel like I should have got caught and I would have done a much better job. What's hilarious here is the fact that out of everyone in that game... The closest person to me is 111,000 off. 116,000 off, actually, to be pretty more exact. Isn't that ridiculous? I feel like I did really well that game. I feel like I was on point with nearly all of my nades. I barely missed any. I was in, like, super hyper-concentrated mode, and I did well. Adamba was trying his best with heals. He was being denied pretty heavily, as far as I know, from the enemy team. They had quite a lot of quarter eyes there. I, 25 to 12, 10 streak, 44 objective time. Didn't touch the objective much, but I did 227k. I think that deserves a like on the video. I don't know what else would, but if you, if you want to hit like, I'd appreciate it. I feel like I feel like I deserve it, and this is one of the rare times that I'll actually say that. Amakoa did well. He was trying his best to hold the point. He did pretty damn decent. Freaking AK death strokes, like 196k heals. How? No caught on our team. Sorry, yeah, that, that was my fault. I probably should have got caught instead of record. That would have probably won us the game. 227k damage. OMFG. Shoutouts to both the people that have watched my stuff on my team. It's always fun playing with viewers. Arandro was probably the weakest link there. If I had to pick someone out, I'd say it's Arandro. 57k really isn't much. He should have had a pretty easy time 
time actually dealing with like Lex and Victor and, and Ying. Did he have quarter eyes? I hope he has like max level quarter eyes. That's probably where he went wrong. He had like tier two court. That's probably why he didn't do that well. He has a reversal loadout, kind of. I, I don't know what went on with the Andrew. I didn't really see more that much that game at all. Maybe he was AFKing and I just didn't see. I don't know, but he would be the weakest link. He'd be the, the reason I'd point to, I guess. I don't know why he chose to get master riding after like tier two quarter eyes. Don't really understand that. Victor, 9 to 10, did nearly 100k. He did fine. Again, can't really blame him or the Makoa or the, uh, the Damba there. Their Makoa actually did worse than our Makoa. He went 11 to 11 to 11. He's actually the person we managed to hit with a whopping 3,750, I believe it was. I can't remember the exact number. They also had a Ying, like I said, did absolutely fantastic. Nearly 200k heals. That's just ridiculous. And their Victor had 111k closest to us. We had more damage difference than anybody had, like, single-handedly. Like, 116k difference is more than their actual top damage in the game other than us. That's crazy. And their Lex, who was also kind of annoying, but he didn't really cause me too much trouble. I felt like I could easily deal with him. I was just focusing the shit out of the tanks, and that's the way you're meant to play this. As a Tyra, with this legendary card, just consistently nade the tanks, and you're gonna have massive damage numbers. That game was only 18 minutes. Imagine if that had gone on for half an hour, and it was like 3-3, and there were no pushes. It was like three captures on each side, and it was like a half an hour game. I'd have probably of this game had gone to like 40 minutes or something which I have had happen before in Paladins matches we could have like half a million damage and that, that number is just ridiculous I don't think we would because I probably would have got too tired and would have started to suck towards the end of it but still that's just ridiculous that's all I can really say love the legendary card and even with that I, I couldn't call this overpowered because I played a specific way against a specific team to get what I had and I feel like if you played against a team full of damages and flanks this wouldn't make any sense it's, a, it's only a card that makes sense in certain situations and and doesn't hinder you, which is good, but definitely wouldn't be a, a, a like a, a general pick. Like, it's not like you play Tyra, you pick Mercy Kill. It's only if you're going against two or three tanks, and also if they're two or three tanks that also don't have a bunch of low health flankers, because I feel like if I was going against two tanks, and there was like a Meave and an Eevee and then a, a low health healer, it also wouldn't make sense, because then I'd deal less damage to, to flankers. But man, it does feel pretty damn satisfying buffing a 700 damage ability all the way up to like 3,700. Adding 3,000 damage to an ability is immense. Obviously, that's a very fringe situation. Most characters don't have 10,000 health. Um, in general, we were dealing, what, like 2,000 there? So it's still nearly triple. Uh, that's crazy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you all very, very soon. Let me know, I guess, what you want to see me do next. And as always, stay frosty. Show, show this video to a damn friend if you want to just be like, yo, dude, here, here, I'm a tank. Fuck me up.